I guess you can call me a veteran at this point, stunt driver, stunt coordinator. I'm thinking my 37th year in the film business. And uh, this is our 19th year at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Peak is filled with so many different gifts and opportunities and really special moments. You know, the sun comes up and you can see everywhere, forever. But when you get in that thing, when you strap it on and you're sitting six or eight feet above everybody else, and then you take off and you experience more than 3,000 foot-pounds of torque and 2,400 horsepower, it's just a crazy rush. And to go run and just be free. This morning on our second run, the truck was working so well, it just was on fire. The day was perfect, the weather was good, everything was right. So I started hanging it out. I go into a left turn and the truck started going into an understeer and letting off the throttle didn't seem to help and punching the throttle didn't seem to help. It goes shooting off on probably anywhere from 100 to 150 feet out. You don't know what to think because you can't see. You don't know what's coming next. Hit the treetops, they all folded over. The truck started descending into the woods. You don't know if you're going to get knocked out and wake up in an ambulance or a hospital or not at all. You know, that's just part of the chances. If I think about the risks and rewards that I get from coming to Pikes Peak, for me they're so hard to count because I, I, part of this is just identifying who I am as a person and I don't know why I have this need to do this, but I do. I think there's enough safety here that you can afford to take some risks. And I can't imagine what life would be if you didn't take a few. Steve McQueen once said that racing is life and that everything before and after is just waiting. Well, we've been waiting 12 months to come and race the 2014 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And to wreck the truck on Thursday in qualifying and go home with our tail between our legs didn't set well with the crew or with me. So uh, I asked the promoters of the hill climb if they'd give me permission to enter our brand new 2014 Triumph Tiger Explorer 1200. And they said if I got through qualifying that they would let me run. Sunday morning I was allowed to put on my uh, fire suit and helmet from the truck with all the sponsor logos on it. My heart pounding in my chest. I took off on the bike. What I didn't tell the officials was that this was the first time I had ever road raced a motorcycle on pavement. And that the last time I had raced a bike was 17 years ago in 1996 at Pikes Peak when it was all dirt. everyone involved recognizes that we did the best we could given the circumstances. We got their names to the summit even if we didn't get the truck here. And without them, we wouldn't be here.